In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure a package that will use variables and expressions to dynamically modify the Excel source file name as well as the Excel source worksheet name. So first I'm going to show you the actual files I'll be using. So I'll be using a source and a destination of Excel. So here's what the source file looks like. And down here you can see the worksheet name, which is Vigo County. So I'll close that now. And the destination file, we're not going to be modifying that dynamically at runtime. I'm just going to focus on the source. So here you can see uh, the sheet name is Vigo. And uh, again, we're going to just hard code that metadata in our package. And then this is a fake source file that I'm going to use when I first configure the package. And the column names in this will be the same, need to be the same as the actual source Excel file because we're going to be using the standard data flow task. So the metadata is going to be hard coded and static in our package. And here you can see the sheet name down here is just sheet one. So now we'll go to Visual Studio, and I'm going to start by setting up our variables. So first we'll set up a variable for the file name. So we'll call that file name. And for the data type, we're going to use string. And then our initial value, which you do need to set up something here, uh, will be that empty fake uh, Excel file that I showed you. And now we will add the worksheet name variable, which we're going to name sheet oops, name. And again, it's going to be a string data type. And again, we'll set up an initial value of a sheet variable. And now we'll go get the execute SQL task. Oh, and let me show you what we're going to be pulling with this task. So I have a table set up called names1. And here you can see the actual values. So there's the source file name. Remember, I showed you that Excel file called source-real. And then the actual source worksheet name is Vigo County. All right, so now we'll do use the execute SQL task. The way that you would probably be using this is if you have to loop through and read in a bunch of Excel files. Um, but I'm just going to focus on reading one file right now. So we're going to use single row, row here, but if you were reading in a bunch and looping through a list of Excel files, you would use full result set. So we'll select single row here. Our connection, we already have it set up. And then our statement will be so select star from dbo-names1. And then we'll go set up the result set. So we'll add a row. And in our table, it's source file name. And that will be mapped to the file name variable. And then we'll add a row for the worksheet name. And in the table, it is named source worksheet. And then the variable, of course, will be sheet name. All right, so that's all we need to set up there. Now we're going to use the regular data flow task. And we'll connect the arrow. And now we'll go configure the data flow. So we're going to use Cozy Rocks Excel Source Plus component and Excel Destination plus component. We'll start with a source, of course. Make this a little bit bigger. And we'll open this and we'll set up a new connection. 
And so I'm not going to point it at the real source file that we want to use because I want to show you that we can set up a variable, an expression, to fill that in at runtime. So I'm going to use this fake source file that doesn't actually have any data in it. And then the, remember the worksheet name in there was just sheet one. And there you can see the columns and uh, the column names, and there's nothing in there. All right, so we'll close that. Now we'll set up the destination, which with the uh, Cozy Rock Excel Destination Plus component. Connect the arrows, and I'm going to rename this uh, Connection Manager so we don't get them confused. Oops. Uh, this will be the Excel Plus, oops, Source Plus connection manager and now we're going to set up one for the destination so and again this is not going to be dynamic we just point it at the real destination file and the worksheet name in there was Vigo and uh, you see we have first row has column names checked here, so it will copy over the column names from the source, which is why the column names in the initial source file need to match the column names in the source file that we'll be setting up when we execute the package. We're done with that. I'm going to rename this connection manager to Excel Destination Plus Connection Manager. And now I'm going to set it up to use a variable and expression for the uh, Excel file path. So we need to go, we right, I right mouse clicked on the connection manager. I'll click on properties now. And so Excel file path, this currently points to that fake file. I'll just scroll over so you can see it. And we're going to use an expression to change that. So the property again is Excel file path and it does need to include the full path and name. So the expression, I'm going to paste in the path and then drag down the file name variable to finish it off with the file name. I evaluate the expression and that is correct for the uh, source file we're using to configure our package. And now I'm going to switch over to the properties for the data flow. And so I just clicked on the data flow canvas there and now we're looking at the properties for the data flow. So I'll show you these are all the parameters that we could uh, dynamically modify at runtime with expressions. The one we're going to uh, focus on right now is the worksheet name for the source. So we go down and find the expressions and we click on the ellipsis there and of course the property that we're setting up is again the source worksheet. Make sure you don't accidentally choose the destination worksheet. And then I'll click on the ellipsis for the expression. And we just want the sheet name now. And we evaluate that and it's sheet variable. And you can see that matches what we have set up as the initial value for our sheet name variable. All right, so one other thing that I want to set uh, I actually need to go back to the properties again for the source connection manager is we want to set retain same connection to false. If in particular if you're looping through a list of Excel files you want it to move on to the next Excel file each time you pass through the loop and it doesn't hurt to set it to false when we're processing just one file like in this example. So we are done configuring all the variables and expressions, and now we can execute the package. 
and it was successful. It says it copied over 843 rows. I'll stop debugging, and I'll just real quickly go show you the destination file now, which has all the data copied over. And I just want to mention that if the column names in your source that you initially set up to configure the package do not match the column names in your real source that you're passing the name of, then this won't work with the standard data flow task. And I'm going to make a separate video showing how they don't have to match if you use CozyRock's data flow task plus. Thank you for watching this video.